guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the best bread in the world, a focaccia. And if you're just foraying into the world of bread making, this is like the perfect place to start because it is ridiculously easy to make a focaccia. Basically, you just throw all the ingredients in a bowl. You don't need any kind of kneading, nothing like that. You just throw the ingredients in and wait for it to rise and turn into this beautiful bread. So I'm gonna show you obviously how to make a really super simple, easy focaccia bread recipe. And then I'll also show you how to turn it into a focaccia shakuri board and which is such a delicious idea for entertaining all your guests your friends and family they're all gonna love it so on my shakuri board i've got some taramasalata which is like my favorite dip avocado dip i've got some camembert and i've got a beautiful salami rose with some organic olives there and swiss cheese so delicious and i've also topped it like with some garlic olive oil and rosemary it is just oh, amazing so if you want to know how to make it make sure you keep watching and if you're as excited for this recipe as i am make sure you hit that like button that really helps support me so let's get into the recipe so first it's time to prep our focaccia dough and this is best done the night before because the magic happens while you sleep so first add two and a half cups of lukewarm water to a bowl along with two teaspoons of maple syrup or honey. The water should feel like the temperature of a warm bath and I'll leave the exact recipe and temperatures in the description. Then we add our active dry yeast which should get foamy within the first five minutes. If it doesn't, it means that your yeast is dead and you should start again. Make sure you check the expiration date. Then add your flour and salt to the bowl. I actually like to use bread flour, but you can use just plain flour, which is super affordable from the supermarket. Then mix with the spatula until a very thick, sticky dough forms, making sure to mix it well so that there's no dry bits of flour left. Then drizzle extra virgin olive oil over the dough. I like to use this garlic infused olive oil for extra flavor. Then turn the dough gently and then cover with reusable wrap, plastic wrap or a tea towel and then refrigerate overnight or up to 24 hours. If you want to bake it the same day, feel free to leave it in a warm space and let it rise for about four hours. I'm going to leave mine overnight to do its magic and I'll see you in the morning. So good morning, it is the next morning and our dough has risen beautifully as you can see. So the yeast has fed on the sugar overnight and then basically burped out carbon dioxide, which has made it nice and gassy and aerated. Not very classy, but it has created all these gases and nice aeration. So it is very light and fluffy right now. So all we're gonna do is remove some of those gases with no kneading required as promised, but all we do is just this simple fold motion. The best way to do this I've found is to grab two forks and then grab one edge and pull it towards the center of the bowl. Just like so. Seriously, it is so fuss free and easy. Give it a quarter turn and then pull the edge towards the middle. Give it another quarter turn and then pull that edge towards the middle. Give it another quarter turn and then pull that edge to the middle. And then we're gonna do this another two times. Now, because I am making a very special like charcuterie version of focaccia, we are basically going to prepare the topping first onto the bottom of the pan. And you'll see this will all work out in the end. Very simple to do. So I'm gonna pick some rosemary from my garden. And here, is our fresh rosemary, it smells divine. It's actually really good for your brain as well. I've also got some softened butter here and I'm just gonna generously grease our butter. So that's gonna make the top of our focaccia really beautiful and golden. And make sure you also grease the sides too because we don't want to miss out on any of that golden goodness. And if you're vegan, you are more than welcome to use a vegan butter or just some plain, really good quality extra virgin olive oil. You can obviously top your focaccia with whatever you like, maybe some olives, sun-dried tomatoes would be divine, but I'm just gonna go for like a plain garlic and rosemary flavor. So I'm just gonna pluck some of our beautiful rosemary onto our pan. I'm doing like little bunches. It's kind of like a little focaccia charcuterie garden. It's gonna look super cute. So basically it's looking like a little garden now. Our little dipping hole. So I'm gonna fill with like dips and cheeses and olives and make it basically the size of our cheese wheel. If in doubt, always make this hole smaller than you might like. 
grab some really good quality olive oil. Now I love the flavor of garlic with focaccia. It is like the most perfect combination in the world. So I've got some garlic infused olive oil. If you don't have garlic infused olive oil, then you can basically just make like a garlic confit, which is just like basically gently heating some olive oil on the stove and then adding some minced garlic to it, however much garlic that you like to taste. And then just gently heating that over the olive oil and making sure that the olive oil does not brown. Now you can't flavor the bread once it's baked. So I'm going to also add some Maldon sea salt on top. It's really good quality finishing salt. And I just think that a really good focaccia has a really good salty, crusty, golden top. So now we grab our focaccia dough and just gently lift it out. Basically, we're going to spread it on top. Now, don't worry if it doesn't cover the whole surface of the pan because we are going to go and proof this one more time and let it rise. And it should rise considerably and make sure you do this in a warm spot about 20 to 30 degrees. As you can see, I've also made like no mess, which is a testament to how easy and fuss free this recipe is. So we've just finished our final proof and now it's time for the best part, which is dimpling the focaccia bread and creating those beautiful indentations. So for this part, we will just drizzle a little bit more olive oil and we've also got our pan heating on a 230 degree Celsius oven or 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Another sprinkling of sea salt. And now we are going to sink our fingers, oh my god, into this focaccia like so. It's basically double in size. And now that's ready for the oven <laughs> for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's nice and golden brown and crispy. And trust me, your house is gonna smell amazing. So while we wait for our focaccia to bake, we're gonna prepare some delicious toppings for our charcuterie board. So one of the things I love doing, especially when guests are coming, is to make a salami rose. It looks so cute on the board. All you'll need for your salami rose is a wine glass and some salami. So I've just taken the charcuterie one out of the oven and it is looking and smelling absolutely amazing. Just look at that. So now we're gonna flip it over and then just give the other side a bake for another five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this recipe at home. So super delicious, easy way to impress all your friends and family. The crust is so super golden and crispy on the outside, but it's like really soft and pillowy. It's just the perfect focaccia bread. So if you did like this recipe, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button below and also subscribe if you wanna see more healthy recipes like this. And I will see you in the next video.